Hey Libra Collective, what's up y'all? Welcome to the channel, welcome back. Hope y'all are doing amazing. Happy Friday to you all. I decided to pop in and do some reading, so let's jump into it. We're not going to waste time. Say what resonates, leave what doesn't, flip it if you need to. Could be past, present, future energy or someone else around you. I'm picking up on. I think what you need to hear right now. We have house two. The second house is Taurus energy, okay? This talks about your physical stability, security, your possessions, your material values, and your self-worth, okay? You get towards placements, or you could be heavily focused on your material possessions and security and stability, financial stability, and things of that nature, even your health. Okay, yeah, so you could be very um, work focused, business focused, money focused. We have fixed, fixed sign energy. Uh, Taurus, Leo, Scorpio, and Aquarius. Okay, again, stability. It talks about, let's see what this card says stability, <clears throat> persistence, loyalty, and dependability. Some of you are working really hard because you have people depending on you. And it's very important for you to feel secure, okay? I don't know what's going on, but it feels financial. There's something about your stability and your security that is at hand. So we have the sun <clears throat> that self-expressed and embodied truth. This is Leo energy, okay? So you're showing me what's happening here with the second house. We have house five, okay? This is Leo energy as well. Passion, play, children, confidence, and creativity. So I, I look at this as the house of fun, the house of creativity. Some of you could be creatives. Um, you could be trying to get a career in the public eye, okay? Some of you have really big personalities. You have Leo placements in your chart. You could be fire dominant or you just embody Leo energy with the sun being here and house five. I feel some good news is coming. Um, if you are in the public eye, I feel like you will be getting some good news. Show me this fixed sign energy focused on your stability. We have trine, okay? Angelic support, harmony, and perfect flow. So your angels, your guys are supporting you right now. Everything is, flow, is in flow. So you know the sun represents all is well. Things are going according to plan. Whether you can see it in the 3D or not, this is spiritual. So you have a lot of spiritual support around you, a lot of angelic support. Things are coming into balance, whether you see it that way or not. And then we have opposition, imbalance, a point of tension and a power struggle with the sun here. Some of you are starting to realize people around you, a certain mindset that you may possess or been holding on to, certain things that you've been doing, behaviors that you needed to release to allow more stability in your life. So you could be releasing people. Also, just changing the way that you're thinking about something here. We have mutable at the bottom of the deck, surrender, fluidity, and welcome and change. That's what I'm saying. Like, so you're just going with the flow right now gemini virgo sagittarius and pisces energy let's do this i'm gonna do this different okay those are just some general messages i am going to pull some advice for you at the end but let's go ahead and get into um what's going on with your money the knight of swords okay this is you seize in the moment so you're about to take action on something very bravely fearlessly okay as an opportunity coming your way that you need to seize. We have the tower in reverse. I feel like you don't have any quit in you. You're not willing to just give up. And this is good. So you're enduring. You're being persistent. That's what it says right here. So you're being like a fixed sign. <laughs> Very stubborn um, when it comes to getting what you want. But at the same time, coming out in mutable energy when it comes to just going with the flow. So there's like a real healthy balance that's going on. You know when to take action. You know when to fall back and let nature take its course. What else? Okay, so yeah, we have the Seven of Swords. This is Aquarius energy. So I feel like you're being very resourceful and strategic right now. I don't know what's going on. I mean, you could have trust issues just a little bit. You definitely could. Um, you could be confronting somebody that um, stole from you, stole money or something from you. I don't know. But the Seven of Swords, to me, is it's resourcefulness, it's being strategic, it's being very cunning. You can have a business idea, you're taking action on it, you're planning. What's going on with your love life? Ooh, the Knight of Cups. This is nice. You can have a Pisces coming towards you, it doesn't have to be, but somebody very romantic. This is Prince Charming. <laughs> This is like the hopeless romantic, somebody making a romantic gesture towards you, asking you out on a date, some kind of invitation here in the romance department. That's nice. Could be somebody between the ages of 20 and 35. Oh, yeah, we got the Empress and we got the Ace of Swords. You're about to get communication from somebody who sees you as 
the Empress, which you are, Taurus, Libra energy. Then we have Libra, Aquarius, Gemini here. So there could be communication coming in from somebody who wants to take you out. This person thinks you're sexy. They think you're fine. They see you as the Empress, which you are. Okay, my fellow Venusian. All right, so there's somebody here that's really sweet on you. They could be a bit younger than you. Um, I will tell you, you may go on to get pregnant by this person. It may be like a whirlwind romance. This is the kind of person, I mean, the Knight of Cups is not my favorite person in the tarot. I mean, it's not like he's a bad person, but the thing to keep in mind about him is that he's fickle sometimes. I mean, he can love bomb you. So I think with you being the Empress, you're, you're obviously in receptive mode because the Empress is a receiver. She doesn't go out and seek anything. Things come to her. So you're magnetizing the attention of this possibly younger masculine. Doesn't have to be a masculine. If you're a masculine, flip it. But this person, I feel like they got the gift of gab. They like talking to you. They're going to talk a lot to you. I see a message coming in maybe over the next week or an invitation. What's going on when it comes to your health? We got the two of swords and we got the judgment. Some of you are making better choices or maybe you've been fighting it. <clears throat> you need to make better choices when it comes to like your eating habits or workout routine. What is this? This talks about consequences, consequences of your actions. Yeah, you're working on something here. For some of you, I feel like you might be developing a workout um, routine or not developing as far as like to share it with the world. You know what I mean? Like you're starting to work out more. Um, a lot of you might be working a lot and maybe neglecting yourself in other areas when it comes to your health. So just keep that in mind. That's what I'm seeing for you. Let's see. Yeah, we got the three of wands here. This is about growth and expansion and building blocks. Something is coming into balance for you. That's the recurring dream. Dream. Ooh. I don't know. Maybe you're having dreams about something. I didn't mean to say that. I meant to say theme. Recurring theme here with the Ace of Pentacles. I'm seeing you possibly move into a um, new lane. When it comes to your, your career, your finances, your business, okay? Something here that brings a lot of peace to you. Things are leveling out and you might be moving. You might be moving or traveling or getting an opportunity, a new job, new car, new home showing up here. Yep. Okay, let's get a piece of advice for you. Okay. <laughs> Just take this one. It fell out first. Piece of advice for Libra. I'm not here to play small. I'm here to F and dominate this mother F, okay? So you are here to dominate. And this is why you are seizing the moment. So you are recognizing and realizing your power. And you're stepping into it unapologetically with this Knight of Swords energy, this Empress energy. It feels like um, you might even have multiple people that could be vying for your attention romantically. But I see you making the choices that are best for you. And that's wonderful. Let me shake these up so I don't keep getting the same message. Okay, y'all. That's going to be it for today. Thank y'all so much for joining me. I will see y'all next time. Peace. Like, subscribe, hit the notification bell.